Hello friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today I will show you how to resolve the play signing issue on Google Play Console when you try to update your app. Recently I got this warning for my Count Will Farm with Numbers app that is available for children on Google Play Store that I need to update it to target Android 12. But when I uploaded the new app bundle with the required changes, I got this error that to upload an Android app bundle, you must be enrolled in Play App Signing. So I will show you how to resolve this issue. To fix this issue, click on Use Play App Signing. You will be taken to a new screen. Scroll down and choose the option Use Existing App Signing Key from Java Keep Store. We have to follow this process. I have already shown this process in a previous tutorial for Mac OS. Today's tutorial has been made on a Windows PC using Windows 11. So you will learn how to do it on Windows 2. First, download the public encryption key. This is step 1. Then download the Play Encrypt Private Key tool called the PAPK tool here. This will be downloaded to your Downloads folder on Windows. This is step 2. Step 3 is copying the Java commands. So press on the Copy button. Open up Notepad on your Windows PC and paste the command there. Now open up the Downloads folder where your public encryption key and PAPK tool were downloaded. If you download it in a different folder, then open up that folder. Right click on papk.jar file and choose copy as path option. Open up the notepad where you pasted the Java command and in place of papk.jar, paste the path that you have copied. Remove the inverted commas. Now open up the folder where you have your Java key store file. I copied the key store to my downloads folder too. Now right click on your key store file, choose the option copy as path, go back to notepad with Java command and in place of foo.keystore, paste the path that you have just copied. Again, remove the inverted commas from both sides. Now where it says alias is equal to foo, replace the word foo with the alias of your key. In my case, it is Amna count well. Now go to your desktop or downloads folder and make a new folder called output there. I am making it in my desktop folder. Right click on the newly created output folder and choose copy as path option. Go back to the notepad with Java command. Now in place of encrypted private key path, just paste the path of your output folder, remove the inverted commas and then write backwards slash and then some name for your key. So I'm just going to write countwill.pem. Make sure that you write .pem after whatever key name you want. Now go back to your downloads folder and right click on your encryption public key.pm file that you downloaded from the Google Play Console and again choose copy as path. Come back to the notepad with the Java command and in place of the path to encryption public key, just paste the path and then remove the inverted commas. Now we are done with customizing the Java command for generating the encrypted private key. So copy it, but without the dollar sign. Hold down the Windows key and press R on your keyboard to open the run command window. Type CMD there and press OK. This will open the command prompt. Now paste the Java command that you had copied earlier and press enter and you will most probably encounter a Java version error. This means that we need open JDK 20. So type open JDK 20 in your browser and choose the first result. I will also give this link in the video description. Now choose it for the windows, the zip file, Windows 64. Once it is downloaded, open up your downloads folder and unzip the folder and then choose extract to a specified folder. And here we have to choose the Java folder, which is inside our main drive where our operating system is. 
So in my case, it is the C drive. And then inside program files, we have the Java folder. So just extract it there, okay? Press OK. After it has been extracted, verify that it has been extracted correctly by going to your C drive, program files, and the Java folder, and you can see that it has been extracted successfully. Now we have to set our Java home to point to this new JDK. Press search on the taskbar and then type in environment and then choose edit the system environment variables option. In the system properties window that opens up, choose the advanced tab and press the environment variables button. In the bottom most window, we have the system variables. So press the new button there. Type in the variable name java underscore home in capital letters. Now the variable value will be the path of our JDK20 folder inside our Java folder. So go back there, right click on JDK20 and copy as path and then paste the path here and remove the inverted commas. Press OK. As you can see, Java Home has been added as a system variable. Now we have to edit the path variable in the existing system variables. So choose path and press the edit button. Left mouse click on the last slot in this table and type in percentage Java underscore home in capital letters and again percentage and then backward slash and bin, okay? But don't press OK yet. Move it up by pressing the move up button so that it goes to the stop slot and then press the OK button. Press OK to close all the windows. Now again, copy the command. Go back to your command prompt. First, verify that the Java home has been set properly by writing java space minus version and then pressing enter and you can see that it is now open jdk 20.0.2 now paste the command and press enter and it will ask for your key store password press enter enter the password for your key press enter and the command ran successfully and the encrypted private key has been generated for your app. It is inside your output folder. Now the last thing that you need to do is that go back to your play console and where it says upload private key in step four, just click on that and upload your key from your output folder and press the save button. I have already done this process on my Mac OS so I don't need to do it again but just upload the key and press save button and you're good to go. Now you can upload your app bundle and you will not get an error.